move. You made it. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Can you see me or is it too dark? You can see me, okay. Hey, balls. It is dark? Okay. Um, I don't know how to make it lighter, but apparently lighting is good. Oh, okay. I've never tried filters before. Look at my lips. Oh yeah, no, it doesn't work. <laughs> what just happened? Oh, there we go. Hey Jenny. Hey Shell. Hey Robin. How are you guys tonight? I wish balls could come up, but I know why you can't, and I don't blame you. I know. You went to the Dollar Generals in town? Oh, absolutely. And like I said, I don't blame you. I wouldn't either. I'm just doing this because I actually want people to come up on panel and just explain their story, what's happened to them because of Katie Joy. I don't know how to do this tapping likes or whatever. I have no idea. Okay, I guess I just waved at you. Cool. You tap, I enjoy. Okay. Now, to make someone a mod, how in the hell do I do that? I can hold maybe okay not that I don't think I'll need any right now anyways Whew. ah click on names there's one person I'm gonna make a mod uh, my friend Teresa I'm just waiting for her to come in I got my cats and my dog for support <laughs> share it okay Um, where the hell can I share? Twitter. There, done. So I don't know how long I'm going to be able to go live for. I was told that it won't be for very long. Um, I don't know how long that is though, like half an hour, an hour, I have no idea. I can ask for subs. Did you guys check out that video I did last night? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, Those women on KJ's panel last night, I, it was just, wow, They how they went after that woman, the cats and crochet. So apparently after she was on KJ's Insta, or sorry, TikTok last night, um, 
she ended up going up on Sir Morbid's live. And they, I guess they just love her over there. I don't know what KJ's problem is or those other two that were on there, but they were rude as hell. They were so rude. Yeah, they were very awful. I felt so bad for her because you could tell even in her voice and of course her photo, like she's got the old lady here. Um, she's retired and everything, right? So she doesn't even work for them anymore. Like for Habitat for Humanity that I know of anyways. That's the gist of it that I got. And I don't know, I just, I felt bad for her. They were so rude, but that's how Katie is. She's rude as hell and she does that to everybody. Everybody. So I didn't get to see it on Sir Morbid's live last night. I just know that she was on there. Hey, Barbara. You should come up here. <laughs> Fresco chicken. Hey, I know you. I actually cut my hair. It used to be so long. I don't know if you can see it. Now it's just down to here. Yeah, I cut it. I don't know, I want a difference. It's just, yeah, it looks healthy. That's what I wanted it. Something different, I wanted to get it shorter. I'm not sure how to invite people on panel, but if you want to join, you can, you're more than welcome, anybody. To sing happy birthday. Why am I not commanding? Because I'm not KJ. <laughs> there she is. Okay, I'm going to make you a mod. At least I'm going to try. Damn it. Oh, there we go. No, come back. Uh, okay, it doesn't say anything. I click on her and it just says block, mute, translate. Sorry, I'm trying to mod you. I don't know how. Oh, I think we did it. Uh, there. I think I did it. I'm not sure how you know if you are modded. I have no clue. But I did do it. And I gave you... Um, I think I everything <laughs> so don't rob my ass oh yeah tap 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 no I can't I can't stand it when she does that it annoys the hell out of me it does I mean I don't even know how this works so if you guys know what you're doing go ahead I am not gonna bug you see something next to your name okay I do too I don't even know what the hell that is three circles something like that so yeah after this I'm going to um I'm gonna watch that live Sir Morbid's live because she was on there and uh, like I said people were saying um I went over there when she was gone because someone messaged me and said that she was on his panel so I wanted to go over and see if she was okay I did message her on TikTok as well but I don't think that she really knows how it works you know what I mean like she knew enough how to get on panel yes but to see the messages I don't know I don't know if she knows how to do that it took me a while because, I don't know, I'll get all these notifications. And plus, every time you turn on your TikTok app, unless your volume's down, all you hear is Phew! Like, it's so loud. Who am I talking about? Oh, I'm talking about that older woman, um, Cats and Crochet, that was on KJ's Live last night. That was treated like crap. Um, by the two other women, as well as KJ, yeah. I just felt bad for her. I messaged her, just wanted to see if she was okay. Yeah. But I was happy to hear she went on Sir Morbid's Live and... She was fine, I guess. I don't know about fine, sorry. I shouldn't say that, but um, I'm going to gather. They just love her over there, so it was better for her after, right? She went on a panel that people love. Like, people were saying the whole time, like, they love her or whatever. Somebody mentioned uh, to me in my comments on YouTube, and I cannot remember her name, but she asked me if I would go up on his panel to talk to her. I said I'd love to. That's what I think. I think KJ had her on just to come after her because she was on first on Sir Morbid's panel. So I think in her mind it was like, she can't share. She doesn't play nice with others. She just doesn't. And 
it's like, how do I say this? It's almost like, well, he was my friend first or she was my friend first. And because of that, she was friends with Morbid first, right? She went on the attack. And she did. And her little minions followed. I feel, oh, actually, I don't really feel bad for them anymore. I did until I heard what they were saying. And they were saying some nasty things to the woman. And they say nasty things to the people who were in their chat. Oh, thank you, Lamb Chap. I know a lot of people don't like TikTok. Yeah, I made it, you know. Woo! She's done that to Charlotte on the web because she would speak out about KJ. <sighs> this is the reason why I wanted to come over here. It's just people need to be warned about this woman. And in, clearly, she's not well known over here. And I don't like that because people get hurt. And by hurt, I mean doxxed, stalked. Yes, I was looking into that lamb chop. Actually, Reagan messaged me last night, asked me if I wanted to go on her panel for YouTube and um, tell my story about what KJ did to me and has continued to do to me. Sorry, these are flying by. I've always wondered if she was behind her losing her channel. Honestly, no doubt. I wouldn't doubt it. The woman's evil. But then people have also said it was because of Michelle Sabat. I think is how you say her name. It was because of her because she was banned and then Charlotte was um, playing her stuff. I don't know. I have no idea. But I do know that um, they don't tell you what you did wrong. They do that with your videos too. Uh, like they'll take my video down and then I'm just like, well, what the hell did I do? I don't understand that. And they never tell me. TikTok tells you though. So my two videos that I put up about KJ both got reported for harassment and bullying. Meanwhile, it was just her. It was her, her own words, that I used against her, and filter what? Okay, and um, she reported them, so they were removed. I just uploaded the the nasty one again, the one where she's wearing the yellow shirt. What is a creator challenge? No idea. Oh, I have to wait for two weeks. Okay. Oh shit, what did I do? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck this means. <laughs> Sorry, I'm reading something. August 26th. Alright, cool. Gotcha. I can ask for get. It's so petty. It's like, give me money. <laughs> What's a galaxy? I know I seen one cool one. What was it? The corgi butt. That one was so cute. I love corgi bums. Yes, you said that you live a little over an hour away from where Gypsy lives. That's the challenge. I have to ask for things. But how do you know what to ask for if you're a new if you're a new timer? That's what Katie was begging for. <gasps> Charlie Bear. It's the most best you think. So Charlie, I was gonna actually go on their channel. Because I thought, I thought it would take forever to get on, you know, get as many followers as I did. But it actually worked. So I'm very happy about that. I'm surprised nobody mean is in here. Hey, Lisa. Not that I've seen anyways. That's the challenge. Ask, ask for gifts. The galaxies give you money. I'm not sure. Okay. Check everything out after. Okay. You live by the Duggars as well. You've been by their house? Yeah, but you're not mean to me. I like that.
Okay, so my hosts and my guests are blocked, so I cannot have anybody up here, it looks like. Hold on, let me see. Unlock guests. What was my requirements? Two more steps before you can. I have to go for live for, fa sorry. I have to go live for 30 minutes. Go live on three separate days. That's it? And confirm my age. Hmm. Cool. Hey, Twilla. Now, what about hosts? I don't even know how to confirm my age. Okay, same thing. Go live on three separate days. So I can go live today, tomorrow, and the next day. And... Go live for 30 minutes. Okay. I'll figure that out after. <laughs> yeah, that is, um, I never went on her panel, but that is, um, you mean Michelle? That crazy lady? Lamb chop? Yeah, she always says, dude, she's really skinny. She's got dark hair. Um, she's had, well, she's like banned off YouTube. She's got so many different channels. And she keeps coming back on. She was friends with um, Ski. I think she still is. Oh, not her. Oh, I know what you mean. Um, oh, she was gorgeous. What the hell was her name? Tia. That was it, right? Tia. I haven't even... Yeah, that's it. I haven't talked to her or seen any review videos or anything, um, actually for a year, I think, but a year now, maybe even longer. I forgot about her for some reason. Look at the GI. Yeah, it's Tia. Somebody from Canada in here? Canada something, something joined. So I'll go live again tomorrow and the next day and then, um, Ooh, Calgary. And then, um, I'll be able to have people up on panel. So that'll be good. Hi. That's why. Okay. You live from 10 minutes from the Arkansas line. Okay. Is that good, Lamb Chop? I have no idea what that means. Fridays are battle days. What is it? What on here? Oh, you must tell me. What's a battle day? What do I do? I want to win. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Nobody. Actually, I'm going to mod you too. Where'd you go? Because you've always been my mod. <gasps> is that Rabbit? Rabbit! All right, I got to mod my Mrs. Nobody and. Oh no, where'd you go? And wrap it. Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. I just modded somebody. Why can't I mod you? Yeah, I knew I knew it was you by your photo. There we go. I have to click on your face, not the words. <laughs> Mom of three humans in one sock. <laughs> That's cute. There you go. Now, rabbit. You just watched Michael from 90 Day doing the battle? I have to see that. Do they have something like that on YouTube, like, to watch so I can learn? You have to pick another live TikTok person and battle them for the most likes? Oh, I'm so wanting to do that. Yeah, where's Wabbit? Wabbit, Wabbit, Wabbit. There she is.
There we go. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. What shall say? Sorry. I'm an hour away from where. Yes. They're annoying. Oh. Yeah, it's poking your face. <laughs> You want me to tell you the least favorite Katie Joy story? Can I tell you a funny one? I call them Katie-isms because the woman claims she's a journalist and yet doesn't know how to talk. Okay, do you guys, you were hoping to be my first guest? You will be. Um, I have to go live tomorrow night and the next night. So it has to be three days in a row and then it my hosts and my guests unlock and I can have people on panel. Tapping is not a river. And <laughs> no, I can't complete a sentence. I can't right now. No, because I'm reading the comments. Okay. So do you guys remember when Katie was live on Instagram? It was, I don't know. I suck with dates, but I don't know, like a year or two ago. We'll say about two years ago. So she was live on Instagram and she was talking about how the Duggars are on their wedding night. And she was saying that there's an actual book that um, the women have to read in order to have sex properly. It's a tutorial, a book that's a tutorial. So you're looking at this book and it's supposed to tell you. And she's literally reading it, which was gross because it was pretty intimate. Um, talking about fingers and other things before they do the do, right? Remember that? Okay. Yeah, it was disgusting. So she's talking about it. And then I don't even know how it got brought up, but she's like, she starts laughing and she's like, you know, they think that you can get a UTI from sex. It's not even the same hole. <laughs> everyone laughed. I think everyone in her audience and she, oh my God, she got so pissed off because everybody's telling her and telling her and telling her like, you can get a UTI from sex. No, you guys can't. I'm telling you anyways, anyways. And she goes on and ignores her audience. And every, like every single person is telling her, you can get a UTI from sex. Google it, look it up. And she just kept ignoring them and going on with this disgusting, have sex on your wedding night story. And I just remember watching us laughing so hard. Like, how stupid could you be? It's not the same hole. Oh, then the fit came. Then the fit came. So she's sitting there. She's like, okay, you guys. Okay, I got it. Okay. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. She's like, I got it. She's like, okay. Like, you don't have to keep telling me. I understand. I got it. You don't have to keep telling me. I see it. And she's like, God, I'm wrong at the end of it, and she, there was this woman named Nicole. I don't remember because she had my same name. She's like, you know what, Nicole? So I'm poof, and she was gone. She <laughs> She's such a bitch. How many hearts is your goal for tonight, Nikki? I, I don't even know if I can set a goal. It says add live goal. I can't do that right now. I'm not, I'm not cool enough yet. I have to go live two more times. Is that what all those hearts are in the left-hand corner? 7,000 hearts? Is that what that is? Hey, Wendy. Hey, Kathy. Okay, that was... Yeah, you're right. That was... um, That was some pretty funny shit. Remember the court papers? <laughs> you guys got it from the cult. <laughs> right. It, yeah, in, in KJ's mind, once the thing is over, it's like it never happened. Okay, just forget about it already. Right? But yet, meanwhile, everybody, this is why people record her. Because she's an idiot. It's, it's just, it's funny to laugh at her. Because for someone who praises himself on being a journalist, okay, a reporter, she sure as hell gets some shit wrong. Even her husband had to tell her that it wasn't <laughs> rod iron. <laughs> it was rot iron. <laughs> okay, now my husband's even going to know me. I'm crabby today. <sighs> I have a team? Really? This has not been filed in court. 
you got this. You got it from the cult. <laughs> that she's bitching about Emily Dame Baker. Remember that? She's like, if you, oh, I can't remember something, but she's just like, and Emily, like, how are you going to take her seriously when she talks about facts, not fuckery? <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Meanwhile, and she's like, she's she's not even licensed in her area, but it's okay for Katie to talk about a lawsuit or read stuff from a lawsuit. That That's okay, but not for an actual lawyer. Just because she's not practicing in her state doesn't make her any less of a lawyer. Just like when Katie tried to say that um, Robert Chin wasn't a doctor. He's a doctor. He's just not practicing. I just... Holy shit, 11,000 hearts. I don't know how to do the coins. How are you feeling though, Rabbit? I do love Emily Baker. Yeah, she's great. So make sure I see all the... We win. Thank you for the rose. I'll never forget that, though. That was probably one of the funniest, funniest ones. It's cute because Charlotte on the web, she wa <laughs> that's like her favorite one is when you got it from the cult. You're in bed with the cult. <laughs> Meanwhile, even the, the best part. Oh, what's his name? That other lawyer on YouTube. <gasps> I got a corgi ass. Look at that cute little thing. I just want to pinch it. <gasps> really? I say what you want. Well, don't erase them. Great minds, you know, great minds. That whole, yeah, I think it's funny, though, because Charlotte was, I watched her, and she was talking about the whole, you got it from the court thing. I think that's, like, her favorite Katie one. And, um, yes, I do remember that. Hold on, I'm just going to try and finish my thought here, and then I'm going to read that. Um, I know that was one of Char the favorite thing that she did for Charlotte. And then, what is his name? The other lawyer. Civil, uncivil law. That was it. So KJ was mouthing about Emily D. Baker, but um, uncivil and the other one, Nate the lawyer. So they also had the piece of paper that was not filed in court. But she was okay with that. But when it came to Emily, she's like, she told y'all I was going to go to jail and that didn't happen. She said I was hiding evidence. That didn't happen. Y yeah, you did. Remember when she was going to turn Emily into the bar? <laughs> I know. How'd that work out for you, KJ? KJ loves the corgis. Corgis. She doesn't deserve them. Lit up donut. Congrats, Charlie Bear. Lit up donut in Nikki's gift gallery. Thank you for the donut. Do you know what donuts are? Yes, they did. They ruined the Zoom core hearings because they both streamed it while... Um, Streamed live while they were on the call. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I'm going to take over TikTok. She's very, yes, she's very um, jealous of successful women and beautiful women. She really is. I mean, look what she does to the brown women, the Duggars especially. Like what she did with Jana. <gasps> that was. First it was, well, Jana's a lesbian. Then it was, well, she can't leave the compound. She's under Jim Bob's thumb. Then it was, oh, well, it was planned. Jim, Jim Bob wanted them to get married. He made them get married. It was um, damage control. The, she doesn't even make sense. Her, uh, it's just enough already. All right, well, you have a good night, Miss Frisco Chicken. She said basically won the lawsuit against the Chrisleys and he removed the podcast. She did not win at all. When you settle, you don't win. What's a long john? That's a donut? I've never heard that. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Just sending my support. I'm not sure how gifts work. I don't know either. Oopsie. Oh, no, Claire. The worst thing that Katie's ever done. There's so much. There's so much. Um... I'll use myself as an example for some shitty things. Actually, no, I'm not even going to use myself. One of the worst things she has done is what she did to Garrison Brown. When I found out before he took his own life that that boy 
was telling her to leave him alone, that she was causing him stress to the point where he would unalive himself, and then he did. And then the fact that she completely, completely... Hold on. I'm just, you know, it, it it's hard to talk about because it's like you just picked your own kid, right? What she did to Sassy was disgusting. And Sassy was trying to help her. I think Garrison probably was the worst one. I really do believe that because not only did she, she just wouldn't stop. And then she blames Cody. And then has the balls to go after his fucking perm. And his little bald spot he's got. Yeah, it's funny looking. The man just lost his son. And you're going to go after him. But Miranda, that's another one. What made me upset about Miranda for sure too was um, when Miranda came out and made that video and told the world that she was getting threats, that she was getting death threats, that her and her husband were, and they were terrified and they were scared. They, you know, they didn't want to go anywhere. Like, how could you? I know exactly how that feels. And what did Katie do? She made it about herself and called Miranda a liar disgusting that woman is disgusting she's nothing but trash nothing but trash nothing good is ever 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 gonna come from that woman ever i can promise you that i love james from my take i remember that because of that i started following him on youtube he's great i really really enjoy his content yeah Another good one, too, is uh, Moroni Jessup. I really enjoy him. He's funny. I follow him on Twitter as well. He's funny. I really, I really enjoy him. Did you guys see the new podcast for uh, Cece Suarez? You guys got to look it up. So on YouTube, her channel, just go to her podcast. It's on there. She did. She did. Oh, you probably see me better. Oh, look at that. Kind of look like a whore. Pretty whore. I'll sit this way more. So I'm just kind of laying on my my bed with my animals. Oopsie. There we go. Okay. She was on Skip. Okay, I did see uh, Llama Girl post something about that. It was uh, Skippity Duda, I think her name is. She's a TikToker and it said something that Katie did go on there. Yeah, you made my life. Honestly, Lamb Chop, I used to think that. But if you look at what Dodd does, he encourages this behavior, you know? He does. I mean, look at him. Like, do you remember when he's talking about um, Leslie Bass, LB? And he was saying, like, if you lay down with fleas... Or lay down with dogs, sorry, you will get fleas. And he's calling people to see you next Tuesday. He's in the background encouraging this behavior. Not only that, um, one of her recent YouTube lives, she was uh, she was live and Todd was in the background. And he's like, I'm making these screams so Cactus Bill makes another video on it. Who does that? Nah, he's part and parcel. They're both garbage. They both are. Remember, he said she's the one that laid the golden egg. But yeah, it calls Gypsy's baby gross. It does look a little bit lighter, doesn't it? It is a little bit wet now because I did just get out of the shower. Yeah. I feel like it's lighter as well. You're blocked, but you found her through Skippity. Hey, blue country girl. Yeah, I like LB too. He definitely does. You love watching mine and rabbit and LB? Good. You remember that? Exactly. Definitely an enabler. I do feel bad for V. Um, and I do, I, I really do believe that he's, I feel really bad. I know he's going to find out what's going on with his mother, what she's done. There's so much, so many hate channels or just people are trying to raise awareness for this woman, that he's going to eventually see it. Yeah, he did. He supported Katie by going into Kathy Beach Castle. I'm like, what the fuck? 
<laughs> tap, tap, tap. There's nothing wrong with that. I know I'm live. So you wonder how I got to go live? Um, I was people were messaging me and they're like, if you want to get followers quick, you can promote your videos and it's really, really, really cheap. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to cheat the system because I was thinking like you'd have to buy um, followers or whatever. No, you can promote your video and um, you just pick whatever one you want and you promote it. And for 24 hours, your video goes in the TikTok algorithm for four dollars. Four dollars. I did it yesterday and um, today ended. The promotion ended and I ended up with over a thousand uh, followers. I was like, that's amazing. I was going to promote um, my Twitter video. It's expensive over there. Yeah. Because you know how you, I don't know, whenever you post a video on Twitter, you can see it says promote. Yeah, I was going to. So I'll, that'd be cool. I'll get it in the room. I'll get more um, followers or whatever. Too expensive. But this on TikTok, it was $4. So I feel like I didn't cheat because people actually subscribed to me. Sorry, I keep getting subscription, whatever. People actually followed me because my video was in the algorithm. So that made me feel better. If it was only $4 to promote a video to get out in the algorithm, I'm glad I did it. I really, really am. Well, I'm glad you're here, Grace Designs. I really am. I'll still be doing YouTube every day. Absolutely. Imagine how much time she has wasted of his childhood. My two girls are my world. I know. I have one child. That's it. He's my world. Absolutely. Did you catch Cactus Bill's live this morning? I was watching some of it. Yes, I was. And she went back. And I'm glad she did. She went back to the older stuff. People need to see that stuff because this is where a lot of us are hurt from. You tagged Eminem and it got over 80,000 views. That's amazing. I'll look at your comment. You and Beth Chapman were fighting with Hawaii Radio. <laughs> You mean dog's wife, the one that passed? I loved her. She was great. She doesn't. No, not at all. Miss nobody. Okay, I thought that's what you're saying. YouTube is investigating her. Is that why she's over on TikTok? I haven't paid attention to see if she's even making videos or anything on YouTube. She said that? KJ said that? Really? I did not know that. Yeah. Let's hope they do something because they never ever do. She does have money to give him a wonderful life. That kid is locked in the house 24 7. Uh, he is. He is, honestly. I don't even think they have um, nurses anymore, to be honest. And I do not think that he goes to school because if he did, I don't know. I just feel like. She would brag about it. Oh, sorry. Cactus did. Okay. She had a phone conversation with YouTube. Good for her. I'm going to watch the rest of it then because I just started a little bit this morning and then, I don't know, I got busy doing something. There we go. Right. She would be telling about, like, remember when he, I think, did go to school or something like that, they, she was talking about, oh, I had to be a mom today because I had to drive my kids to school. Yeah. She always tells when there's something to do with her kid. Always. Because she expects like a pat on the back or something. She's always on YouTube. Hey, Amber. I don't know if you can see, but I have two cats and a dog on my bed. Here's my dog. Here's baby dog. There's Dilly. <laughs> then I got Claire sitting in the hallway and the other one's with my son. Yeah, you're probably right. She wants to be mother in the year when in fact she's not. You're right, she did fire them. Yeah. I remember her one story was, well, 
I fired them because she didn't want to sit downstairs in the basement. Well, the nurse didn't want to sit down in the cold basement with dirty diapers and be stuck down there the whole time when V's on an iPad the whole time. What's the time? What's the point of being there? Your mom all day, every day, please complain to me when you are at my level. Right. Really? I can't smoke? Okay. Oh, God, that sucks. I'm glad I can go live now, too. Right, how could she say Mother's Day? Yeah, Mother's Day and her son's birthday is the worst day of her life. That's what she said. Not that I know of. I don't know if she's been live. I don't think so. Yeah, I can do that right after midnight and then wait again. Okay, I'll have to. It's when I show my dog. You'll have fun for me. <laughs> yeah, that skippity doo dog, I believe her name is. Yeah, that... Like, I don't want you to think that Mother's Day and his or Mother's Day is good for everyone. Like, it was just, uh, I showed it on my channel. Here's another kitty. That's my pretty one. 20,000? I don't even know how you, like, he, I hear KJ tapping all the time. I don't even know how to do that. What does more mean? More what? Uh, everything's locked on me. Apparently you can do a poll, you can draw and guess. What's the matter? <laughs> Tap the fuck it is up. I don't know how to do it. Oh, maybe. Right. Nice. Yeah. Cheerful delight. Happy Mother's Day. Now feel sorry for me. <sighs> that um that one video was circling again about where uh, Katie was trying to talk about how her son survived, but made it like he was di dead. Like she even said in the video, like I'm trying to talk about the son that my day, my, the day that my son died. It's like, woman, your son is here. He's alive. You he should be thankful. Just tap the screen. Oh my God. Now I know why she does it. Oh, that's annoying. Disco love. Yeah, I believe so. Well, that's what I'm hoping, actually, that her son will. But according to Katie, she plans on putting him in a conservatorship as soon as he turns 18. But my thing is, is if he, when he turns 18, she doesn't have a handle on it anymore because he's a grown adult. You're watching me? Oh, my God. <laughs> Two taps is a penny. That's gotta be annoying. Tap, 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 tap. Yeah, that's annoying. You're not sure about Canada? He did it. Yay, thank you. He has been, yeah, that iPad has been raising that poor boy since birth. Yeah, if I, I don't see, it, like if I tap, wouldn't it shouldn't count because, yeah, I just don't think it should count if I'm tapping. You know what I mean? It's weird. We win again. <laughs> uh, 
Ow, puts you on the For You page. Yeah, it's not annoying. Can you not hear it? And I'm like, ugh, ugh, ugh. 803 hearts. Holy shit. Thank you. You're kidding. She's live. Hey, KJ. I should go put her on my computer. See if she likes being streamed live. Just have her mouth in the background. Hey, Ivana. Yeah, go take a look. Let's look. <laughs> you just got home. Yeah, I would imagine she's talking about it. It's just disgusting. She's already posted about it. I put that in my video. Um, when you go live, I can jump in a box and help you. I can't even have anyone up yet. I have to go live two more times. Ah, Corgi Bomb! So cute. You went to Costco? I can't afford Costco. <laughs> uh, I think it is, like... Like, say if I were to take my phone and put it on, like, my computer screen, actually watching her live, maybe. But, I mean, I could just throw her on the background. I'm not going to, but um, I probably will one time. And just have her mouth in the background for a little bit. Just see how she likes it. Because she reports everyone. In, uh, she can't stand that. Um, she hates it when people do that to her. But, yet she can do it to other people. She's such a fucking hypocrite. Yet sometimes people got hats on their heads. Oh, now I got four babies on the bed. My honey. That's your first TikTok? Lit up finger hurt. I got a little heart. Look at look at Blair. I think you just tap your screen, Ivana. Honestly, I don't do TikTok either. I never have, but um seeing how what's been going on here lately. I felt like it's a good idea. I'm getting a team. All right, thank you, Rabbit. You know what? I refuse to call... I refuse to call Rabbit Katie because I hate that name. I just... You gotta change your name. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'll just call you Rabbit. I've called you Rabbit forever. I won't call you Katie. Yes, treason. <laughs> no, I just feel weird calling her that. You refuse to call her, yeah. KJ. Am I allowed to drink on here? Is <laughs> that gets a lot? <laughs> I'm just joking. It's a drink, see? My cat's weird, so this is kind of have in front of me, Claire. She's 15. Every time I have a cold drink, like, it's like perspiring, right? Um, she likes to lick it. <laughs> yeah, you. I can drink good. I have to use a secret account because I'm blocked. Ah. Yeah, I like going grocery shopping live. It's funny. Honestly, the investigation into those emails, I have no clue. I don't know. I don't get told anything. Yeah, why would anyone want to see the autopsy? That's what I... Like, why? Why? Because KJ is disgusting. That's why. 
Yeah, she hates being called that. Exactly. That's why I do it. She said she doesn't steal fancy or Natasha's part. I call bullshit. From her her um post today, it said that something about Natasha Cooper, so that's probably where she got it. She was saying um how Natasha was talking about it on her rumble. And I think that's where Katie got it from. She gives other people credit, and she's mad that people call her out on that. She's just mad in general about everything. I've never seen that woman happy unless someone else is getting hurt. And then she laughs. And then she feels, I don't know, great, invincible. It's annoying as hell that she's still here. Like, she's still on all these platforms. On the live earlier. Oh, they were all going to Natasha's right when it started. Okay, that's where I believe that she had um, got it from. Hello, Starlight is on what? Katie's panel right now? No way. See, someone was telling me that they're friendly. I was like, oh, no. Damn. Yay, welcome to my team. That's, that's shitty. I don't like that. Uh, anyone who befriends KJ gets burned. We know that. People will eventually learn, learn that. They will. And it's always the hard way. It keeps popping up. What is that? Really? Of course she is. She's disgusting. She gets off on that, I swear to you. <sighs> Funny how Sir Morbid was warned but didn't listen, but now he knows. Yeah. He was warned a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot. But then someone was saying, um, I don't know if it was today or last night that he was um, talking about her, but not in a good way. It's windy. We're in for a storm. Big thunderstorm. Uh, starting late tonight, I believe. <sighs> of course they're talking about it. Like, why does she keep talking about a crime that happened eight years? I'm going to focus on the present. So, yeah, he went off. I like to hear that. Good. Balls posted a clip. Okay. Mm, Kitchener, okay. I think it's disgusting to be that into an autopsy report. It was like she gets a boner as soon as something nasty like that comes up. And she really does. She does. You can see the smile on her face. It's disgusting. Good. I'm glad you let her have it. About time. It must be nice to be a cat. I want to be a pet all day. Like, massaged and eat treats and be lazy. No, I didn't see it. She could not possibly know if the meds were there for Dee Dee or Gypsy or anything. Did you see that damn closet? There's no way in hell all of them were for Dee Dee. No, she's not a detective. She's a piece of shit. Straight out of context is right. She's a piece of shit. I'm intrigued by autopsy reports, but I wanted to be a mortician and worked in LA for a week. Did you really? It was full. Cool. <laughs> I didn't see it. I'm dense, apparently. I'll have to check after. Don't blame me, Jennifer. Yeah. You want to come back as a cat or dog? Yeah. You're an officer and your husband was a deputy. So it's like a family thing. I like that. I wish I had some connections like that, you know? Then I wouldn't have to... I, I think that things would be a lot better for me and I wouldn't have to um, worry about KG as much and what's been going on. <sighs> like that... It, I'd have more help. Hi, 
Emily. And thank you. And you are mandated reporters too, yep. I learned that term from Dr. Phil. I was watching him years ago. I can't even remember what it was about, but I remember that. Now it's quiet. I'm not getting any more threats or anything. I did get one more email sign up and that was a few weeks ago. Other than that, I haven't received anything. You know what I think's weird you know what I think's really weird though? Is that Katie was live and she said um that the FBI is involved. And I'm rolling my eyes like, yeah, okay. Then she says, Yeah, they're involved, and because of that, the emails will stop. The email stopped. How the fuck would you know that unless you were involved? Yep, I stopped getting them after she, the day that she said that they would stop, they did. That's, that's, an, there's, she's involved. It's her, it's her email that's being used. There's nothing after it. The um, only thing was that one more funeral sign up. Oh my god. I don't even know if I believe that. Yes, I remember that when KJ was supposed to go on Dr. Phil. I still don't know if I believe that. Yeah, after the, e the FBI talked to Katie, the email stopped. Yeah. She's being investigated. She absolutely is. Can you imagine her on Dr. Phil? She wouldn't last five minutes. Absolutely not. With her know-it-all attitude... Remember seeing Farrah Abraham on there? You think that was bad? Wait till KJ goes on there. If she ever went on there, can you imagine? Oh my God. Yeah, he would tell her everything she didn't want to hear. No, they don't understand what Katie, they don't, nobody understand, not nobody, but there's a lot of people that do not understand what Katie is uh, capable of. She's dangerous. And I don't say that lightly. This fucking crazy bitch is dangerous. She really is. Oh yeah, I remember bad baby. It would be fun to watch. I was hoping if it was true that she'd go in there. I don't know if it's true. I didn't call the Phil's show or anything or write them to see. I don't even know. I don't even know how to get Dr. Phil. Get hold of Dr. Phil. I was drunk one time years ago and I was fighting with my family. <laughs> I was so hammered. I actually never told anyone this. But speaking of Dr. Phil, I actually wrote an email. <laughs> but I'm Canadian, right? So I was like, I don't even know. I don't think I'm ever going to get nose or anything, but I, I don't know. I didn't even know what I said. It was basically on the lines that I wanted my family back together and why am I always the outcast and why am I the black sheep? And I needed him to tell my family that they're wrong and they have to love me. It was something crazy. Like <laughs> I was fucking hammered. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I forgot until now talking about him. <laughs> I gotta tell them that. Like, yeah, you guys pissed me off to the point that I wrote Dr. Phil. <laughs> oh, shit. They never did reply back. I guess I wasn't crazy enough. <laughs> Fucking writing Dr. Phil. That was pretty funny. I can't, I know, I, oh my god, when I drink, like, usually it's, it's in a family setting, <laughs> it's usually, like, I don't drink on my own, but whenever I'm with my family or stuff, I will drink, but I don't drink to get drunk, because my family, they all drink, so they all drink to get drunk, I like to be at least somewhat sober, I don't know, in case anything happens, right, oh my god, because I remember I have gotten drunk, oh my god, I'm a bitch, I'm such a bitch. Like, I'll go on Facebook, and if someone says something that I don't like, I'll attack them. I oh, I remember waking up, and I said something to one of my aunt's friends on Facebook, and I actually wrote something like KJ was saying. I'm like, it's not about you. Oh, my God, I about died. The woman messaged me, and she's like, what the fuck is your problem? I was like, what'd I do? I look, and I'm just like, oh, my, I'm so sorry. I am nasty. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I just, I'm not a good drunk. I'm angry, very angry. I have a lot of, I don't know, I've got a lot of shit. People all have their shit, right? They do, but when I get hammered, nah, I'm nasty. Very mean. I can be very, very mean. So I don't like to get drunk. Yeah, like people, some people can't drink whiskey. So if you drink whiskey, whiskey, you're a whole human being, but now I'm a menopause, so I'm just hormonal. <laughs> 
right jerry springer episode oh my god last time i drank i had a three-day hangover i never drank again my hangovers last even when i don't get like completely hammered like they will oh no 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 what's going on no 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 What? That was weird. I had to drag a puzzle piece to a puzzle. Because <laughs> apparently I'm not active. I don't know what the hell that means. Yeah, alcohol is a depressant. That was weird. I said I wasn't active, so I did like, there was a puzzle and there was a piece missing, so I had to take the puzzle piece and put it in place. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> It will do that while you're alive? Okay. What time is it? Oh. I should go, though. Um, I have a date with my son. We have a movie we're going to watch. He's making me watch. What the hell is it? Oh no, I can't remember. Holy crap, I'm at 30k. Shit, that's awesome. Yeah, look, AJ, this is how you mother. What the hell did he want me to watch? I can't remember. Oh my god, I cracked the hood. That's why KJ's tapped up figures. So weird. I've never heard of that. I can't remember the movie. That's going to bug me now. And I think I wanted to watch it too. I'm pretty sure I wanted to. Oh, he found out that they did a remake of The Crow. He's not happy. Um, we're Brandon Lee fans. And, um, well, of course, he's he passed, right? So Leland never seen the movie before and I, I told him like you're gonna love it I promise you you're gonna love it so um, I had him watch it with me and he's like obsessed with it he just absolutely loves that movie and then we found out that the guy who played um, the remake of it is playing the crow I showed him that and he was, he was pissed off he's like really <laughs> I don't want to watch it yeah I don't want to watch it I don't know I like I don't know. I've seen the previews for it. Yeah, I heard it was bad, too. The original is perfect. I mean, if I never saw The Crow before, it looks like a Wicked movie. But that's like with, um, like, I'm a horror fan as well. So Freddy Krueger is, like, my favorite um, horror villain. When they did the remake of Nightmare on Elm Street, the first one, I liked it, but because I know Freddy Krueger is Robert Englund and I've seen the whole franchise, it's like, I don't know, you shouldn't have remade it. It's good how it was, you know what I mean? Now, if I didn't know about the horror, Freddy Krueger horror franchise and this movie came out, I'd be like, this is the shit. This is amazing. Yeah, some things can't be remade. Michael Myers and I do uh they're still going they I, I and I'm glad that Jamie Lee Curtis is in them some remakes are okay there's some of them are good like they remade um the Amiable Horror I like that one yours is Michael Myers my son's is Michael Myers as well yeah that's his favorite horror villain he's got the mask the fake knife you name it he went up for Michael Myers for Halloween one year <laughs> last year he went out as the crow Long legs. Long legs. I think that's like long legs. That's new, right? For Halloween. Yeah, that's new. Wait a minute. I think that's I think that's one of the ones. The Lion King. 
<laughs> yeah, I can't get Teresa to watch nothing. Yeah, she's like the Lion King. Watch Cinderella or something. She won't watch anything. No. Not at all. If I even start describing what I'm watching or telling her mom, she's like, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> There's times where I'll be talking to her in the middle of the night and be like, oh my god. Something's in the other room because my house is haunted. Yeah. And she's like, I don't know how you live there. I don't know how you can do that. Well, I kind of have no choice. Yeah, she likes parent. Well, actually, she plans on marrying Bigfoot. She thinks that's her husband. Bigfoot is your jam. <laughs> Stinky bastard, and yet you love him. <laughs> she does. She's obsessed with Bigfoot. I swear. <laughs> Bigfoot. <laughs> There's a. Oh, speaking of Bigfoot. Yes, I would love to do more spirit videos. That's what I'm into is paranormal and stuff. You're so, oh my god, he did. Oh my god, she says, oh my god, my son just said today that Bigfoot is my type. He is. Something's wrong with you. I even made emojis for you. <laughs> for Discord. <laughs> Your son bought a house? That's amazing. Remember this show, Teresa. So, when you are ever on YouTube, it's called, um, The Scariest Night of My Life. It's a show. Try that. It's um, a lot of them are the Bigfoot ones. There's the scary night, the scariest night of my life. There's a woods one too. It's, uh, scariest night. No, something to do with the woods. But the scariest night of my life. You gotta, you gotta watch that. You'll love it. It's all Bigfoot. Thing is that they're freaking scary. My stupid ass will watch like Nukes Top Five or I'll watch that show and then I try and go to bed. Yeah, it doesn't work. Uh uh. Stupid. So your ordeal, man, is when you never see. <laughs> yes. Abandon mental assault. Yeah, we definitely need to. There's one actually about 15 minute drive for me. Your son's sick name is Sass, short for Sass. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the Bigfoot case files play to sleep. All right, Blue Country Girl. All right, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to go. I'll come back on tomorrow and we'll chat a bit more. And then the next day. And then have people on panel and then we can... I want people to come on here and be able to tell their stories about Katie. Yeah. I want people to feel comfortable and hopefully feel safe here and tell their story because I believe it's important. Who in the fuck has over 15,000 people on a Reddit that don't like you? There's a reason. These are all your victims. And that's just Reddit. I'm not talking about Twitter. I'm not talking about TikTok. I'm not talking about YouTube. I'm not talking about Instagram or Facebook or people from her old jobs, her neighbors, her ch everybody. There's a reason she's not liked, and people need to know about it. I hope I do make a difference. All right, Hunter Grace. Sounds like a plan. Jeez, 30K? Holy cow. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me. This was fun, and I'll be back tomorrow. How the hell do I end this now? Looks like a power button in the upper right corner. Let me see, what is that? Yes, there we go.